The preamble to the Constitution begins with the words, we the people, in order to form a more perfect union. The ideal of all Americans, all Minnesotans, has always been, how can I leave this country, this state, a better place than I found it? How can I make it a more perfect union? In my 33 years of teaching American government, this is the ideal that I tried to instill in over 12,000 students that entered my classroom door. Now I try to live that ideal as a state senator. Throughout our history, there has been one constant, one unifying force that has guided us as a people, and that is every child deserves the best education possible. So we ask, how will we ever achieve that more perfect union if we do not educate our youth? An educated and enlightened and engaged citizenry is the necessity of every democracy. Proper public funding for our public schools is fundamental. It is a shared sacrifice. Earlier generations held that concept dear. What message do we send our children when we continually talk about budget cuts and budget cuts and budget cuts and layoffs? To me, for all my years of teaching, it was like fingernails on a chalkboard. And for you younger people in the room, it's like permanent markers on a smart board. <laughs> when our counselors no longer counsel, but react from... Did you like that? I thought you were Yeah, thank you. <laughs> When our counselors, what's, what's the smart board? <laughs> when, our, when our counselors no longer counsel, but react from crisis to crisis, when our classrooms designed for 25 desks now are crammed with 35, when our startling number of teachers are leaving the profession they had dreamed of their entire youth after just a couple years in the classroom because they, have, they, don't, they lack the proper support and the proper resources and the proper respect they deserve. When far too many of our youngest are ill-prepared for opportunities that await them upon kindergarten. And when far too many of our oldest leave school ill-prepared for the opportunities that await them upon graduation, these are the responsibilities all of us share. I can't thank Governor Dayton enough for his added funding. Someday, when a Minnesotan finds a cure for cancer, or solves the problems of poverty, or discovers an alternative fuel source, or perhaps finds that more perfect union, and when they were are asked, how were you able to do it? I hope their first answer is, I attended a Minnesota public school. Thank you so much, Governor Dayton.